A very good morning to you all again. We were in line with the single phase series circuits study application of single phase AC to register inductor capacitor after having seen individual element and combination of RL and RC. Now we are stepping into RLC series circuit, which you witness on the screen, a circuit comprising of a resistor R ohms, inductor L Henry, and a capacitor C farad connected to an alternate source of energy Vm sin omega t sinusoidally progressing and when we connect these three elements to a source we can find the current flowing into a circuit is mentioned over here as i as and when these elements experience the flow of current through them when current flow through a resistor it creates a potential vr i into r and current flow through inductive element through its inductive reactance it offer i into xl as a vl and i into xc capacitive reactance of the capacitor reflective vc we find applied voltage vectorially get resulted as vr plus vl plus vc in the earlier sessions rc rl circuit when we studied applied voltage v is equal to vectorial sum of the vr vl vr vc like that in this circuit it must be vectorial sum of vr plus vc plus vc like vl plus vc like that and we were understanding this subject when we have inductor and capacitor in a circuit in a series how to understand which kind of domination takes place here whether circuit is inductively dominated or capacitively dominated or circuit is in resonance there is a keyword called resonance which is called as inductive reactance and capacitive reactance cancel off so which is that state now considering that particular case three different case studies like case one when xl is greater than xc inductive reactance is greater than capacitive reactance capacitive reactance is greater than inductive reactance or both are equal to each other so these three case studies we have to consider one by one let us take first one when a rlc series circuit connected to an alternative source of energy for a specific study inductive reactance is dominating over capacitive reactance in this circuit then i can say circuit is inductively dominated then that study pertain to case 1 let us view case 1 when xl is greater than xc when we consider it is easy to get to know that the value vl is larger than vc or magnitude of the vector vl when we are going to represent on the representation of the vectorial should be larger than that of vc for that what we will do again we consider this is a series circuit for the series circuit the common element is current current flows through each one of them so that's why we say series series circuit several elements are connected in series such that same current flows through each one of them then current is taken as common reference vector we can see this diagram which is drawn the horizontal axis the orange or brownish color you can see that vector represents the vector of current do not consider the magnitude it is a plane of current horizontal axis is considered as a reference vector which is current then we will take individual when this particular circuit is assumed to be having only resistor temporarily feel that inductor capacitors are not there we will find a resistor as if connected to alternating source of energy current flowing through a resistor voltage across the resistor i am trying to correlate i and vr they are in phase so current flowing through a resistor and voltage across the resistor are in phase then i am in a position to write or draw vector representing vr you can see vr is positioned in the same line of that of current you can see blue colored vector is drawn on the same plane of that of current now here question comes it is not a magnitude of current it is just a plane horizontal plane is a reference plane current on the same plane vr is 
represented. So this represent relationship of V R and I. Similarly, I consider from these three element only inductor is present. When I experience only inductor is present to a alternating source of energy, voltage across the inductor and current through inductor. If I correlate, when inductor is considered, current through inductor lags behind the voltage by 90 degree. That is what ideal inductor case we have studied. With respect to current, where should be the voltage vector VL? So, when I wanted to construct a vector diagram, I took a reference current. With respect to current, where should be the location of VL? VL must be leading ahead of the current by 90 degree. You can see there is a dotted line drawn here like this. So, there could be a vector like or you can just draw here same length I can project here. So, therefore, I can say vector VL and we have taken a case study XL larger than XC. Then what is that VC and current relationship? Whenever we consider as if the capacitor is alone present as if these two are temporarily not there in our approach, voltage across the capacitor, current through the capacitor. When I consider current through a capacitor always leads ahead of the voltage or with respect to current voltage across the capacitor lags behind it by 90 degree then where i should locate the vector vc vc should be downward at this point so resultant is vl minus vc these two vector vl and vc are opposite to each other then resultant is as per the case xl greater than xc stands vector representing el in case of voltage and a vector representing Vc smaller when the resultant is this way. So there is a vector downward which is Vc, there is a vector larger Vl and from the Vl vector Vc quantity is taken off. What is remaining is Vl minus Vc. This is called net resultant voltage Vl minus Vc which is above this line because Vl is vertically upward vc is vertically downward resultant is cancellation of the magnitude of vc from the vl larger vector when i cut it off the length remaining is vl minus vc now question is we could draw vr which is in plane we could draw vl vc and vl minus vc from this what is the total applied voltage total applied voltage is vectorial sum of the vr vl difference vc which we can see this blue line and this blue line if I form a palagram of forces like a concept to find a resultant this diagonal represent V the applied voltage RMS. Therefore, I could get the value of current or nature of current from this approach. As we begin our discussion there were three elements R, L, C connected to alternate source of energy V being V m sin omega t. For a particular case study XL greater than XC, we were on the way to construct a vector diagram in this way having a reference taken as a current as a taken as a reference, we are in plane, VL opposite upward by 90 degree shift up and VC downward resultant of VL VC is outward like this upside. Then resultant of VL VC with VR give me a V which is supply voltage. Then we need to understand from this diagram. So, what is V hypotenuse of this particular triangle? The adjacent side of that and opposite to this angle, opposite side. Angle between applied voltage and the current is of our very importance. That is called power factor angle. Angle between applied voltage and current resulted. That is cause of that we speak as power factor. Hence, this is called important angle for us. Then from this triangle, I can relate. What is that? hypotenuse stand as V. So, V is equal to V R square. You can see this horizontal side V R square plus this side which is V L minus V C. V L minus V C square plus V R square under the root stand as V. Then what is V R for you? V R is I into R. You can see I into R square. Then what is V L V C? Voltage across inductor, voltage across capacitor. 
i into x l i into x c you can see here i is taken outside here x l minus x c so this is what we can write it so it is the i x l minus i x c square if i take it out i common from this so i should be square here so i outside this square root i outside under the square root r square plus xl difference xc whole square so this term we call it as impedance you can see here it is replaced as impedance z then what is impedance impedance is the blockage or obstruction offered by the circuit elements for the flow of current therefore i can say i into z stand as applied voltage v where z is r square plus xl difference xc in this case xl is dominating hence i could write xl minus xc in the other case it may be xc greater than xl i may twist it as xc minus xl no matter there is a square which is above that bracket which take off the negative out so this way this vector diagram can be constructed now what is our next work to understand what is this power factor this angle is from this triangle i can write opposite side of this angle i, I know it is vl minus vc i know this side as vr or in terms of this triangle by approach what is this this triangle which is v equal to i into z there is a impedance in the i into z here it is i into r here it is i xl difference xc then if i take this triangle in terms of impedance format i into z i into r i into xl minus xc i you cancel from all the three sides what remain is hypotenuse is z adjacent side is r opposite to this angle is xl minus xc we call it as impedance triangle because all the sides are with the ohmic value ohms impedance is ohm resistance in ohm reactance is also in ohm if i take that ratio you can see opposite side to the angle become xl minus xc and adjacent side become r then what is this angle you can see phi is inverse tan opposite side divided by adjacent you can see xl minus xc divided by r this is stand as angle or power factor angle cos phi is adjacent side r by z we can write it this way also r by z so we'll learn it when we go further so we were able to get this vector diagram for a case study xl greater than xc and we were able to tabulate or find out the relationships now our task is what we need to obtain expression for the current and to draw the waveforms show what is the power consumed in that in that respect let us take given voltage is vm sin omega t what is that current result in the circuit i have to get from this vector diagram this vector diagram which is in terms of voltage notation v v and v volts now i have to find where is that resultant voltage it is diagonal where is that current flowing in the circuit in this circuit representation by vector i as a horizontal position of i with respect to voltage i have to calculate is current is behind or above that or is it following is it lagging or leading with respect to voltage i have to find from the diagram if i take v as my reference with respect to v i is behind that by an angle phi it means current is lagging behind the voltage why it is so you can see the case study is what xl is dominating on xc circuit is more inductive when more inductive means current must lag that is the concept i is behind the value v that is by value phi therefore typical expression for the current stand as a current in this circuit would be i m sin omega t minus phi how we got this what is the knowledge you got i'll go back and tell you when we had a rl series circuit what was the nature of the current we got from this vector diagram we got it as i is behind the v by an angle phi 
we could get this equation from this equation of current as what i m sin omega t minus pi we could get it because voltage is here current is here current is behind that voltage in a rotation frame of vectors therefore that is lagging so circuit is behaving like a inductive over here the same phenomena is felt here when i have xl dominating on xc current in this circuit or in this vector diagram is lagging behind the voltage by phi then i will have i equal to i m sin omega t minus phi then to draw this let's take the vector waveform representation i have drawn the blue colored wave which is voltage v m sin omega t the current which is i m sin omega t minus phi which begin late by phi and the minus of phase angle means what lagging relationship so it is drawn later by an angle we can see here there is a mark of phi it begins at zero mark here constitute its cycle can you see this yes brown or orange color line you can see here and i dotted or i can reproduce backward just for my requirement so that remain as wave for the current now next question is when i have applied voltage vm sin omega t current resulted is im sin omega t minus phi is there any consumption of power yes power will be consumed in this circuit because of the element resistor then what is that power consumed for this what we have to do this represents the study of rl circuit what is the power obtained or power consumed by the rl series circuit with the equation v equal to vm sin omega t i equal to im sin omega t minus phi we could do it this work this work has to be repeated here where is that here here what is that i have vm sin omega t im sin omega t minus phi at this lines i have to copy paste this work what is that instantaneous power equal to v into i vm sin omega t im sin omega t minus phi when i take this product vm im sin omega t sin omega t minus phi it is a product of sinusoids and what we will be doing we will be arranging it as sum and difference of cosines by trigonometrical identity therefore it become very easy to obtain multiply by 2 divide by 2 to make it arranged cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b format when we arrange this we will be getting vm im by 2 cos phi minus cos 2 omega t phi this is called instantaneous power then over a cycle of observation one cycle net power nothing but i'll be integrating it you can see integration 1 by 2 pi vm im cos phi minus cos 2 omega t minus phi d omega t i would mean this work is just a replacement over here i have to draw it here i have to solve here that i have not done because we have already studied rl series circuit this work average power calculation by integration stand as vm by root 2 im by root 2 cos phi which stand as vi cos phi so this 4 to 6 line i request you people to place in this position and make your notes or study material you will you shall not leave it like this only p average equal to vi cos phi we have to derive it how we have to derive from this concept we have to take this this material which i am circling on the screen this material you need to present here at the end you will find the power wave built for this first length of time second length of time third fourth like that average power is not zero vi cos phi but you will have lower half upper half lower half upper half unequal in dimension when i take a power over a cycle it is vi cos phi you will find very small sinusoid at the lower because current is in negative plane voltage is in the upper half so therefore product lie in the lower plane so therefore a very small magnitude is presented here as a power but in this second time duration both quantity both the quantity voltage and current are in the top of the representation so it will be larger by magnitude and again third time duration negative 
and fourth time duration larger like this you will be finding representation of waves pertaining to voltage current power in the sequence so this represents vi cos phi for the power consumed by rlc series circuit for a case study xl greater than xc this case study is a recall of rl series circuit only you will not find any change whatever the study we performed here the same study we will be revisiting over here when xl is dominating on xc so therefore if you study xl i mean R, rl rc case study understanding rlc series is very simpler okay this is how it works for your first case when is the second case opposite to the first one capacitive reactance is dominating over the inductive reactance when i say capacitance is dominating circuit is more of leading in approach current in the circuit is leading and the earlier case it was lagging because of the inductiveness now it is exactly opposite to that the vector diagram which we have constructed here will just go mirror to the down plane let's see how it works let's see when case 2 is considered vl is smaller than vc that's called vc is larger than vl the phasor diagram which is represented again considering the current as a reference you can see here horizontal axis current is the reference on the same plane we will find vr because when i consider second case vr voltage across the resistor in it will come in plane with the i vr then vertically downward vertically upward we will have two vectors one is due to vl second is vc but case study says vc must be more uh, larger than vl so vl is above the representation like this vc is below so if this case is considered we can see vc is downward vl is upward net dominance is vc therefore we will find the vertical side fallen down hanging down is vc minus vl so this side dotted or solid line which is shown here is the dominance of capacitance which is vc minus vl so i have vc minus vl and vr if i take a result on top these two by making this parallelogram of forces i will get v v is known as total applied voltage this v and i with an angle phi we get here so therefore i must be very careful about this v is the net applied voltage vc minus vl is the resultant voltage from capacitor and inductor cases and vr is voltage across the resistor so therefore when i make this study clearly from this triangle we can relate this vectorial relationships like this we have i have done it here when it was inductive case study vl minus vc was represented in this pattern when it is vc minus vl it mirror downward but the relationship still stand good what is this v v is the hypotenuse of this triangle where is phi phi is the angle made between applied voltage and current resulted so therefore here you will find with respect to voltage current is above so this is by an angle phi do not worry about this minus at that time because v is here i is here so v and i i is going earlier to the v so i is above this by an angle phi it is called as leading with respect to voltage so therefore current is leading in capacitive circuit is witnessed by the phasor representation here so from this diagram i can again draw some attention what is that v equal to vr square plus vc minus vl square you can see this by pythagoras relation concerned to this right angle triangle i can write it here vr square plus vc minus vl square then substitute the vr substitute vc substitute vl in between so we will be able to get i into z so applied total voltage to the circuit is i into z z is impedance of the circuit which is square root of r square plus xc minus xl whole square so earlier what we had in the rl mean xl greater than xc case 
we had r square plus xl minus xc whole square now i will be having xc minus xl whole square then from this again one more conclusion i can draw what is this angle power factor angle cos of this is power factor or if you want to know the angle itself i can use a tan function this side opposite to the angle opposite side divided by hypotenuse i can write then what is this side equal to i into r what is opposite side i outside the bracket xc minus xl hypotenuse is i into z so from all the all these three sides current is common cancel that i then you will get hypotenuse is having a z adjacent side is having a r and opposite to the angle opposite side is having xc minus xl so tan function when i enable it become xc minus xl over r we can see here tan inverse xc minus xl over r refers to an angle phi so therefore cos of this if i take that become power factor of the so cube or else i can write directly what is cos phi from this representation cos phi is adjacent side which is r divided by hypotenuse side which is z r by z also work as power factor for our computations once we are able to view all these concerned things on this phasor diagram we are in a right position to draw the waveforms how is that waveform we drawn we should know applied voltage what was the applied voltage over here vm sin omega t you can see vm sin omega t i just construct the blue colored wave you can trace here which i am hovering the cursor on the wave blue colored wave which is vm sin omega t correct then where is that current from that current you should understand the phasor diagram from this phasor diagram you have to get the relationship between voltage and current representation how is that current current is leading with respect to voltage by an angle phi when we have sinusoidally varying quantities represented as a vector i can retrieve the nature by like im sin omega t plus phi so this represents a sinusoidal quantity whose vector was i when i drawn it on the phasor representation so from the i and v i can get back this im sin omega t plus phi as the representation of current in this circuit which is leading we can see here sin omega t sin omega t plus phi when i have a current which is leading in this manner how i can represent by a graphical way so look to the graph so a representation of im sin omega t plus phi starts phi degrees advance to the representation you can see here there is a zero mark here where the voltage wave has wave has begun before the zero mark there is a mark of phi an angle there the current has begun you can see that current has begun before the beginning of of voltage by what value phi it shows that current is leading with respect to voltage that's the representation im sin omega t plus phi plus phi stand as beginning it advance you do not consider ordinary mathematical graph sheet where we have right side plus left side minus above the axis plus below that axis minus like that we have a graph sheet representation that you should not remember here for us before the zero mark it is beginning means advance later to the zero mark it is beginning later means lagging so that we have seen here so in case of rl i have shown you it has begun late means late by an angle phi here it is advance before the zero mark of the voltage begun by phi angle that is why it is called leading so this way we can represent voltage and current waves once we are able to get voltage and current expressions what is next instantaneous power is there consumption of power in this circuit definitely right when there is a element resistor present it do consume power then how to quantify it to quantify it again i'll go back to the concept of instantaneous power what is instantaneous power instantaneous voltage multiplied by instantaneous current by using the side by side equation so that is vm sin omega t multiplied with im sin omega t plus phi 
So this case study, if you recall back, feel something we have done it somewhere. Yes, you have done it exactly at RC case study. Look to this case study. We got similar equation Vm sin omega t, Im sin omega t plus phi. So the derivation part for the power is exactly the same. This which I am block, which I am showing as a block here, this computation have to have to be here. In this case, it means in this position, power consumed by this case, which is V i cos phi. In this position, I have to draw the conclusion from this case study. What is that? Instantaneous power is V into i. V m sin omega t, i m sin omega t plus phi. And if I simplify this product of sines into sum and difference of cosines, I am just making use of trigonometrical identity. Then I take average power over a cycle by integration 1 by 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi and whole function. When I put inside, when I differentiate, when I integrate it, I will be able to get Vm by root 2, Im by root 2, cos phi. Because this work is reused over there, which I have not mentioned. Here I have not mentioned here, I have just mentioned power consumed in this case is equal to uh, Vi cos phi only. This means this kind of representation is to be done by ourselves. We have to do it. So I will be making use of this place for that. So Vi replace them, simplify and you will be getting P average equal to Vi cos phi. So this is same as this RC case study. What I mean here? When XC is greater than XL is recalling you RC series circuit. When it was XL greater than XC, it was recalling you RL case study. When it is XC greater than XL, RC series circuit concept is revisited by your consciousness. So therefore, it is what case 2 stand here as exactly RC case study. You can view the same diagram, similar presentation I have here. You can witness here. Is it the same graph? Yes, it is the same graph. You can see here. It is here. Same derivation I need to present. So therefore, we need to be very careful. If you know single case R, L, C, you can understand R, L, R, C. If you understand R, L, R, C, you understood R, L, C, like that. So this is a very lengthy process, but very easy systematic process. One need to go in sequence. So therefore, you have to understand sequentially one after the another. So hence, power is not zero. You will find in the power curve, you can see here, zero, pi, two pi. Within this zero to pi, we have four points, zero to certain angle. So voltage and currents are positive. I have drawn a thick or very large power wave here, upper half. In a small time width, current is negative plane, voltage in upper plane. So this is small power wave I have represented here. Okay, with the red color I have drawn here. Then when the third time plane width, both the quantities are in negative plane, then minus E minus I will become plus P. So it is put as upper half. Then in this time zone, current is positive, voltage is negative in plane. So product lie back in the negative. So average when I take two upper positive halls, two lower negative halls. When I take average, average of that, average do not go zero. Average can be computed by Vi cos phi value. That is a witness we can do. So power is not zero, power is Vi cos phi, but we can see the difference in representation of power halls. A bigger hall, smaller, bigger, smaller. Exactly same case study when you go back here, you will see lower half small, bigger half, lower half smaller, bigger half. So you will find shift of plane. This is inductive. When you begin with the lower half, it's the inductive. When you begin with the upper half, it is a capacitive. That's you have to remember by your own identification. This is case number two. When the case number T, three one is considered, what is this? Inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance means the dominance of these two is not there. You have each of one get cancelled off. Vl is equal to Vc in magnitude. Therefore, the resultant vector diagram what I draw looks like this. You can see here. 
current is the reference vector you can see horizontal v r lie on that v r i into r and at the tip of this or at here v l vertically upward v c vertically downward both are equal in magnitude because the case study is what v l equal to v c so these two cancel and null what remain is v equal to v r itself v equal to v r itself that is nothing but x l minus x c went to zero then what is impedance impedance is r itself there is no impedance it is a pure resistor we call it as resonance so net reactor term got cancelled off it inductor reactance and capacitor reactance got themselves cancelled then total representation as a blockage is only pure resistance of the circuit this is called resonance so at this time you will find very least opposition for the circuit that is only r xl xc got cancelled therefore we have to see to it that very carefully v is vr square plus vl difference vc square from the vector diagram there is no vl there is no vc because these two got cancelled off what remain is vr equal to v this is the same case study what we studied from beginning when we applied a single phase ac to a resistor in phase relationship we got hope you remember this you recall back this we got in phase relationship this is what is seen in a rlc series circuit when xl is equal to xc this case is revisited here when xl is equal to xc it is a revisiting of the first pure resistance case only then in that case study we know applied voltage is vm sin omega t current is something i m sin omega t you can see here the blue lines one is voltage wave which is you can see correct another is current wave following hand in hand 0 pi again pi to 2 pi and continuous so this is how hand in hand relationship is noticed in the circuit even though circuit is having a resistor inductor capacitor it is truly behaving like a resistor it is because of cancellation of inductive reactance with the capacitive reactance therefore power consumed by the circuit do remain v into i as we have proved there so that's what i have to go back and tell you this is a short proof i have to use this proof i have to use therefore applied voltage being vm sin omega t current being i m sin omega t what is instantaneous power then product of these two when i solve this what was my final conclusion v into i therefore i have drawn the wave first half second half because if both the quantities are in the negative plane minus v minus i reflect it at the positive half so there is a conjunction of power in the resistor circuit also this small portion of derivation need to be used over here in this case that comes to the discussion point that current voltage wave current wave and power as per the requirement so this would be a one good question in the examination explain and show like that maybe a complete case study xl equal to xc x greater than xc xc greater than xc can be any sub case be asked or entire work can be asked as a question so therefore we must be careful about the question and able to do it so for me it's quite comfortable because we have come across rl series circuit rc series circuit and studying rlc in a sequential manner it helps me to connect it to the previous study and to the current then it become very easy to understand when xl is dominating over xc it is a rl case study xc dominating on xl it is an rc case study xl equal to xc it is a pure resistance case study hence with which very easily i can convey you you have to remember basic case studies first if you remember the basic case studies further rl rc and later you can understand very easily so this way this rlc series circuit can be studied so when we have that particular concept and one numerical problem we will take today and we'll close the session because another teacher may be waiting there so a square frame of 500 turns 12 cm side so this problem i have picked from generation of single phase ac using square frame approach 
so that is a square frame of 500 turns 12 centimeter side he is rotated at 500 rpm perpendicular to a magnetic field of flux density 1 weber per meter square b is given flux density is given 12 centimeter side length and breadth equal to 12 centimeter number of square frames are 500 rotated at 500 rpm calculate the emf induced in the frame when the area of the frame make following orientations so we have seen generation of single phase ac when a square or a rectangular frame of conductor mechanism is driven in a suitable uh, magnetic field of flux density specified and the cutting edges if you recall back the diagram we mentioned a b c d like that that cutting edges keep on cutting the lines of flux and there will be a change in flux linked with the conductor result and emf in them so collectively emf was taken out and we coined the equation of emf as 2 pi f b a n sin theta if you remember the equation therefore using that equation are we able to compute the instantaneous value of induced emf in the frame at particular discrete positions as mentioned one perpendicular to the field what is the meaning of this one we have to imagine a situation a pair of magnetic poles are there north and south uniform flux density of one weber per meter square exists among them then the square frame is made up of what side 12 centimeter side and uh, 12 centimeter length and width 12 centimeter sides like that then we have to convert this centimeter to meters first first to work we have to work in si systems then how many such frames are there in the approach there are 500 such frames that is called 500 turns are there then at what rpm it is being driven 500 with which i have to get frequency 500 divided by 60 if i operate i will be able to get cycles per second so that is what frequency of rotations i'll get then i have to calculate at what point of standing particular discrete position i want to calculate induced emf then use that equation whenever the area of the square frame is perpendicular to the lines of force we found induced emf found zero it means area of the square frame found perpendicular to lines of force induced emf was zero when area of the square frame was in the plane of the flux area of the square frame was in the plane of the flux induced emf we found highest in between these it is incremental and peak later decremental and to the zero like that we had sinusoidals sinusoidal first half and second half resulted using this concept in mind we have to obtain you can see the solution solution on the page is so simple one line substitution and conclusion but here we have to identify from where your zero mark is measured zero mark is measured from zero induction plane so zero induction plane and given angle are 90 degree with the complementary it means whatever is the angle given here is with respect to lines of force but what should be used in the position is 90 minus the given angle in the equation so we have to use 2 pi f 2 pi f b a n sin of 90 minus the given angle i should use and get the answer so therefore the first one whenever the area of the square frame is perpendicular to the lines of force no doubt it is exactly sine of 90 minus 90 sine 0 goes 0 that's why straight forward we can write whenever area of the square frame is perpendicular lines of force induced emf is zero the last case you can see parallel to the field parallel to the field means area of the square frame is in the plane of the flux 
at that time it is zero degree with respect to lines of force that stand as last line you can see 90 minus zero that stand as sine 90 a highest value possible at that time in between these two boundaries you will find the magnitude of induced emf varying sinusoidally with the angle let's go with the first one perpendicular lines of force it goes zero then inclined 30 degree to the field the inclination is given as 30 degree but i have to substitute it as 90 minus given angle which is 2 pi into f f i computed directly as given rpm divided by 60 converting it to cycles per second as f into flux density b one weber per meter square into area of the frame what is the area of the frame 12 centimeter i have to convert it to meter so i converted it as 0.12 meter into 0.12 meter this become the area of the frame into number of such frame number of such frames in the problem given as 500 turns it is 500 last term is sinusoidally varying operator sine of 90 minus given angle of inclination 90 minus 30 degree if i operate i'll be able to get the instantaneous value of the induced emf at 30 degree inclined position for the frame is 326.49 volt like when i change the angle 30 degree to 45 degree you can just see the numerical content just a substitution of angle theta in the equation it is 2 pi 500 by 60 into 1 into area of the frame 0 0.12 into 0 0.12 into number of frames 500 into sinusoidally varying operator 90 minus given angle 45 which is 266.57 so i'm not doing any great work here i'm just trying to reuse the equation derived 2 pi f b a n sin theta that equation i am just utilizing here substituting the given content properly in the position and trying to get the answer similarly for the uh, inclined to 60 degree case so it is again same equation you can see the entry in the equation on your screen only that theta is changing the first case it was zero because 90 minus 90 sine zero resulted zero the second case study stood as 90 minus the given angle 30 can you see that 90 minus 30 operated by sine the next equation you just see 90 minus 45 45 degree is the inclination given so it is sine of 90 minus 45 the next one you can see 90 minus 60 and it is a parallel to the field parallel to the field means inclination with respect to reference is zero so it is 90 minus zero means sine 90 that is the highest value of induced emf we obtain which is 376.99 volts so this is how a simple one uh, problem which we would have visited in fundamentals i am visiting here so therefore you need to use that 2 pi f b a n sin theta whenever we use sin theta theta is 90 minus given angle that you should not forget so this way today's class will wind up here and we'll wait for next classes with the numerical approach so in the next class what is my plan the plan is to go ahead with the numerical problems you can see there are a lot more series of good problems like this just i project to you so many problems we can answer one by one having understood the in, in the derivation understanding of relationship of voltage current etc now i request you people to be very cautious